Hello. I am playing. I am dead again. Alright, I gotta look for... figure out what to do in this game. Uh... It's a peach, or what the hell that thing's called. What am I looking for? I forgot. Oh. This thing. Wing suck. Okay. I remember what did you say? I was walking home from school, a bunch of us, and I told him my granddad said the lad had a live fat training camel living somewhere in the woods. Come on. Everyone laughed, but I told them it was true. Ogden didn't believe me. Someone would have seen it. He dared me to climb in and prove it. I told him he'd have to sneak him past the big house. We were almost caught by the gamekeeper and had to run. Hell for leather for the woods. We reached the trees hmm. out of breath. I was bent double and leant against a tree. Ogden had better breath control and he recovered quickly. He saw it first. The clouds parted. The moon shone down. And Ogden gasped. Don't be still there. Don't be. And then I did too. Was it? it Pinkhill said no. What? I was going to ask you a question. We were but obviously, you didn't, can't hear me. No proof. No one was going to believe us, but we knew what we saw. <laughs> yeah, he was a couple of years above these chaps at school. Oh, and he's right. No one believed them. <laughs> we gave them so much stick. <laughs> hmm. Alright. I gotta look for a camel or what? Oh, it's right here. No, that's not it. When you play that, uh... That stick game, where, where did you get that? You know? Oh. I got it for somewhere else. For some reason, it's telling me I gotta. It's, it comes out in October. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. But it already came out, so I don't know. Oh, there's a guy right there. I remember when a young Ogden asked to join the Shoulderston Silver Band. 
I recognized his talent immediately. Uh, did I get an achievement? Mm. Uh, hey, thanks for the, uh, the sub. Jordan. So you're we're gonna renew your, your uh, sub here. I see how it is. Literally anything. Eventually he settled on the sousaphone, which he always insisted on playing with his lucky bronze mouthpiece. Oh, Jordan. After the silver band played a storming concert in the How's camp. it going, Sir Kill? How's Under it going, Jordan? Sally How's it going, Dopey? Ogden to go for a night swim in the harbour. You'll love and all that. Ogden left his mouthpiece behind. It really rattled him. Ogden was worried he wouldn't be able to perform without it. But of course, next time we played, he was just as good as ever. Didn't need any lucky mouthpiece, or Ogden. You want your five dollars back? Oh my God! If you want five dollars, I'll give you five dollars. Ogden was so talented, a real virtuoso. Oh, I loved listening to him play. Ugh! Oh, speak for yourself, Morris. It was a terrible racket. Terrible. Just terrible. Uh, what am I looking for here? You want your million dollars? Well, good luck with that. Alright. I'm gonna get out of here. Get this guy right here. That's my booty. It was the day of the island cricket match out on the volcanic sand spit. We had lost to Appledore for the past three years, and it was my first year as captain. I didn't want another loss on my watch. Ogden had just come back from New Zealand and told me he'd be up for it. I wasn't sure. I remembered Ogden from school. He was lanky, and Ogden showed up with his own bat. He told me he'd won it in a pub in Dunedin, and that it had belonged to a famous New Zealand player. I wondered whether I should put him into bat at all, but Ogden whispered to me that he'd been playing on deck. Ogden hit a six with his first stroke. Yeah, he could have used that money on Peach. Wild. Yep. And just when I thought it must With be a only fans. he hit another, and another. He was a machine. Ogden hit so many cricket balls out into the sea that we had to stop play. We'd run out. It was a stunning win, and we carried Ogden back across the sand and into the camel. Even though he'd won the match pretty much single-handedly, he insisted it was all down to the bat and plenty of practice. Ogden was solid gold. So uh, I was gonna stream last night, but oh man, I I had a headache and I was getting the sweats. Like my head was sweating profusely. I don't know what uh, what was wrong with me. It was weird. How's that? What a great day that was. <laughs> and we've beaten Appledore every year since. What are you watching now, Jordan? Those poor chaps never did recover from all oh the incredible God. batting. <laughs> Which one are we talking about here? One in white. Yeah, there are two. Jordan's thirsty. So thirsty, that guy is. Okay, what am I gonna looking for here? Oh, 
One in white. Oh my god. Jordan. Oh my god, Jordan. Dance, dance. Okay. Where am I? Oh, there he is, right there. Yeah, the mirror is there for a reason. Me and my friend Cassia had started a beach clean at the weekend, and Ogden turned up with his mate Godfrey. I had no idea Ogden liked me. He was the tallest in our year, and we all fancied him. By the time we reached the little cove at the north end of the beach, he'd asked me to come to a concert he was playing in. I said yes. She has hot mom vibes. <laughs> been going for when I applied to Floristry College on the mainland. I didn't tell Ogden. I didn't believe I'd get in. And didn't want him to think I was trying to get away from him. Ogden might have looked mature and confident, but I did get in. And he was gutted. I felt Gutted. Terrible. He was gutted. I didn't want to hurt Ogden. He said he didn't mind, but I could see he was covering. My last week on Shelmerston was really hard. Every time I saw him, it felt... Finally, on my last night, I made a decision. I would take an apprenticeship at the garden yeah, it's so It's so uh, funny how that mirror's right there. It felt like the right thing to do. I would tell Ogden in the morning. But when I opened the door the next day, I found Ogden's sousaphone left on the doorstep. I was terrified. What did it mean? What had he done? I ran down to his house, my heart in my mouth. His mum, she never did like me, was a little bit smug. She told me Ogden had Wait, are they in a hot tub on a, a bathroom tub to together? Said, and didn't know That's when weird. he was coming back. Then she shot. I was more than a bit tearful, but you know, looking back, I think we both needed to have a bit of an adventure. I spend a lot of time with Sally during this period. We used to meet up quite often when she returned from Floristry College, and I was working at the museum. <laughs> For a while, I thought maybe we would get together. <laughs> oh, man. She always Enough of watching that. <laughs> out of reach. Uh, sort of distracted. Well. Jordan's thirsty. So thirsty. Okay, I gotta find... I gotta find a, 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 a uh Hey I found it. There it is. Oh come on. Hey, I found it. Model of the M HMS and Fatable Get in there. How did that get in there? All right. So now, oh crap! You're getting the scent of Grenkins again, Morris. I'll pop up to let you know when we're close to one. Grenkins. Okay. Hey, there we go. I found it. <laughs> Woof. Found four out of fourteen. One out of fourteen. All right. I guess they're not here. Whoa, that guy's in my way. Uh oh. Oh, 
How am I supposed to do this? Is that it right there? I know, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go somewhere. Else. Why am I copying you? What? What are you talking about? Copying you doing what? Is it right here or it's not it? No. Hmm. That's not it there. I don't want this the flags. That's a bucket. Uh beat me in the comp. What? Hello, VD. How's it going? I can't find where the hell this thing is at. Hmm. Oh, is it right here? <laughs> Video wasn't impressed. Yeah. Why were you impressed? It's on the left side. Uh. Is it this thing? No. Ah, here we go. Hazard found it. Thanks. I got a Grinkin. Two out of fourteen. Oh boy. Um, uh, nothing here. Oh, there's something here. Now I gotta find where the hell that thing is. Oh man, I totally forgot how to play this game. Um. Toolbox. Ah. There we go. <laughs> You'll take. Oh my god, Jordan. Jordan's so thirsty today, tonight. So thirsty. Her her purpose was to make her look better than her. Wow. 
ますんね I think I'm missing someone. Yeah, there it is. That was easy to find. Come on. Aha! Uh, wow, Jordan, just wow. You haven't had the... Someone's thirsty, for sure. Well, you know, you could have had something in Arizona. But I think you dodged a bullet on that one. The bees. Uh... Hey, it's a kitty right there. Or what is that thing? It is a cat. Breakfast burrito farts. <laughs> oh my god. Jordan is stinking up the house again. Alright, so... I need to find the last one. Um. Karaoke. I found it before you said something. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, uh, I need to find the, the last person too. Um. Woof. There we go. What are you saying Nancy for? <laughs> Why are you saying that that Nancy for? I also need to find the last person. <laughs> Rough. Probably right here? Yeah. Four, eight out of fourteen. Man, this game. Totally forgot this game is going to be so. Uh, what 
Wake up. Rough. That's not it. Oh, there's more right here. That's not it. Oh, jeez. No. What are these? Where are these again? No. It's the only wrong balls, huh? Yeah, I totally forgot this game's gonna be freaking uh time consuming. <laughs> Uh, her friend is not very, uh... I don't know. You'd be the, you'd be the judge, Jordan. I'm not gonna say nothing. God, this wireless headset is. I need a new one, I think. This thing's trash. Oh, that's not it. Uh. Why is not my headset not? It should be. It's been in a. Uh, I don't get it. I've had this headset for probably four years now. I don't know why it's not like. It's, uh. I don't know why it's not. charging. Kind of annoying. Oh, ain't that cute? They're hugging. Oh, what's up here? No, it's not everything. This guy? No. Yeah, I don't know why my headset's not... Is it... Well, now it is. Stupid headset. I don't know why it's not... It's not, uh... Charging. What am I looking for here? I forgot. Yeah, 
Yeah, this headset is not very good. I need a new headset. It is not good. I don't have the patience for this game. In no, that's not it. Am I missing something here? I don't see nothing here. I don't have the patience, period. That's true. Hey, now. I don't like your attitude, buddy. Pirate, this thing, right? No. This thing. There we go. The focus thing? No. I think my headset is di dying. I don't know how long these these uh headsets last but I've had it for a long time. Okay. No No Yeah, I ripped my headset. Okay, I need to find something here. Like, it doesn't charge. I don't know why. I put in a charger for almost all day. I don't get it. I do not get it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Um, I don't know. It might be, I don't know. I'll look for that later. I'm missing someone. Like it's, it's charging now. But it won't be charged for a while soon again. I don't know. What's this kid? Um. Okay, I gotta look for someone. Oh, there they are. I was looking for that person. I missed Ogden so much. 
much, and for the first month there was no letter at all. I took my place at college on the mainland without knowing how he was feeling. It was a shock how low it made me, even though I was working with flowers, my dream job. I threw myself into making friends and working as hard as I could. I wondered about him traveling the world without me and without his sousaphone, what he was doing. Then the letters started arriving and it was amazing. Each one came with a penny from a different country, one from Valparaiso, another from Dakar. I wrote back and told Ogden about my course, trips to Kew Gardens, which were amazing. And Ogden told me about his voyage, watching dolphins Jordan. and flying fish, crossing the equator. Sometimes we were both lonely. We poured out our hearts to each other. In a funny way, I think the letters made us closer than ever. Um. When he arrived in Christchurch, He'd send me flowers pressed in his letters. I sent him a shell from home. And then he sent me a New Zealand halfpenny. It was my favorite. On one side, I came back to the island. And when my father died, I opened up my own florist shop on the quay. I tucked the halfpenny under the front step for luck. Polished up Ogden's sousaphone. And one day, Ogden showed up at the shop, completely out of the blue. He told oh me boy. there was nowhere like Shelmiston, and no one like me. I was so thrilled to see him, I asked him to marry me there and then. He oh, ain't that cute? Yes. The lure of Shelmiston. It always pulls people back when they try to move away. They were a lovely couple, Sally and Ogden. Oh, I'm not paying attention here. There's a guy in there. There's money in there. Who? No, I did not. I forgot. Stop <laughs> here and all day. Um, okay, okay, boss. What am I looking at here? Hey, I found it. One good thing about being dead, I'll never have to deal with counting change again. Oh my god, did you see that, Jordan? <laughs> you just missed it. <laughs> I saw what I saw. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> You just missed it, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> but you just missed it. <laughs> Uh...
Okay. Alright. I'm getting too distracted, thanks to Jordan. Uh... Jordan missed it. Oh, wow. Well, gotta look for something here. Yeah. She used to be in WWE and she was in Playboy. And now she she was in TNA. I don't know if she still is. Yeah, I don't know if it, she was. She did wrestle in TNA. I don't know. If, I don't know if she still does anymore, but. I gotta find a camel. Where are you, camel? Uh, a camera right there, but that's not it. Snow globe. I don't know what the hell I'm looking for here. Is it right here? Whistle. Ah, uh, what am I looking for? Is it right here? No. Yeah, Jordan missed it. Just gotta watch again. I don't see no stupid camel. Is it in here? Ah, there it is. Camels are so obviously a made up animal. Humans will believe any old rubbish. Hmm. I don't, I don't think Jordan's listening to me. Okay, I got that. Oh. It's obviously this thing, maybe. No.
That's why you weren't listening to me. Oh, jeez. Wow. Jeez, Jordan, just wow. Okay, I gotta find something that's here. But I don't know what the hell I'm looking for here. Oh, it's right here. Come on. Oh, okay. I guess you were listening. Okay, I need to find a couple more of these stupid things. Are they here? Right here. No, that's not it. What? That's not it. Hmm. That's not it. What am I looking for here? I don't see nothing. Oh. Clams are muscles. Hey! Catch of the day. I think that's the last one I got. Hey, I did! I got all of them. Sweet! Alright. I don't know where to go here, I forgot. Oh, here we go. I gotta look for something. What am I looking for here? Turn this off, or do you want to play uh, Hot Wheels? 
I'll play Hot Wheels. You're exhausted. Oh, jeez. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Oh, what are these? These look like I need to look, look for. There it is. So you don't want to play. They seem to have been using it as a funnel. These bootleggers are very resourceful. So you don't want to play that game. And why not? Just frickin' play it. Play it, play it, play it, play. Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Play, 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 play. Play, 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 play. Remember when we found one of these heavy balls on the beach and I dropped it on your toe? Heavy balls. Ah, oh, yes. A very distinctive odor indeed. I reckon I can find I have spaghetti. This. Here I come, Ogden. I had spaghetti. Spaghetti gives you farts too. What doesn't give you farts? What? Daniel always smelled my farts when I tried to sneak them? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh this feels so good. <laughs> Terrific to see you, Morris. Meet. Morris, How is that? See you too, meet. Meet. Have a stretch, Ogden. We have a question for you. Sparky! Owner of the very finest singing voice on the island. What can I do for you? Well, it's about the custodian. We need a replacement. Ah, yes. I've heard that volcano rumbling. Poor Aggie must be very tired. Yes, she is. We need a replacement. Oh. Oh, you want me to be the custodian? I, 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 I'm honored, but... Uh, I can't. Are you sure? The island is in dire need. I know, and I sympathize, but 
Sally is the other half of me. I need to watch over her. Everything else may be changing, but she's my constant, and I'm hers. I need to go into the West with her when it's her time. Yes, I... Yeah, I understand. You two always did have an enviable connection. Mm. We were very lucky to find each other. And I'm still lucky just... just to watch over her. Makes this place still feel a bit like home, even as it changes. So I'm going to stay. Uh, but listen, once you found the custodian, come back and enjoy a sniff of that beer in the camel with me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Sure, Hogton. Well, uh, see you around. After all these years, Ogden still carries that torch for Sally. <laughs> I wish I'd been so lucky. Things I should have done. You were busy with the museum, Morris. And you did walks, and you did fetch, and belly rubs, and... <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, yes. I was very busy. Thank you for reminding me. You did plenty. But now you need to find the next custodian. Hey, how long has Aggie been custodian? A little while now. You've met her, actually. Oh, you have? Well, her body, anyway. In the museum. What? Her, her body? In, in, in the museum? Oh, wait! That's right, Morris. The bog lady. The bog lady of Shelmerston. Well, that's Aggie. Mm-hmm. Well, that's her body, anyway. Her spirit is all around us, of course. But Aggie is Bronze Age. Uh, Three thousand years. She's been custodian all that time. Yep. Well, no wonder she's tired. More tired every minute. We need to get to the next prospect. Greg Litherland, at the campsite. Hmm, Greg. Okay. Hmm. Jordan, let's go play, uh... Let's play, uh... Hot Wheels. Come on. You got me into Hot Wheels now. <laughs> now you can have play with me. It's the all your fault. Part of the island I never spent much time at. I never cared for camping. Although we did find a lot of Bronze Age goods down here. Really fascinating bits and bobs. I reckon this was an important place once. And not just to shell us. Oh, oh, there's so many great smells here. Oh, and so many rabbits to chase. Stop it, Sparky, you have a job to do. <laughs> You know, I suppose I do like it better up here now I don't have to worry about combing all those burrs out of your fur. <laughs> At least this part of Shelmerston isn't changing too much. Yes. Now let's sniff out Greg. Yeah, I always found Greg a bit difficult. That business with the owl of his. Uh, he wasn't a bad guy at heart. Just liked animals a bit more than people sometimes. Maybe. But who can blame him? Let's find some people who remembered him. Dig a little deeper. Yeah, memories of Greg Leatherland. Here we come. Okay. Nab Hill campsite. I don't think there is a lot of places here. Should I quit and play? I'm gonna quit and play. Uh, I'm gonna play Hot Wheels because that sounds fun. Let's play, let's play Hot Wheels, Jordan. I'll be right back. I'm gonna play some Hot Wheels. No. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> <laughs> 